Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. These surveillance devices allow me to monitor you constantly. Please ignore them. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself, right before he died. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because it started making a bit of a clamor after you went in. Scared the marauders right off. And if this ship is yours, well, ma'am, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. Afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. 
Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Marauders, deserters, illegal landing. What is this colony coming to? you come from? Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls. And low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under, free of charge.
Another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. At least we've got work. Hey. I don't get a lot of visitors. Wish we had some better rations. I know how you feel. Hey, you hear about Wilson? You some sort of freelancer?
The grease monkey, Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. My proposition benefits the both of us. Please, hear me out. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. 